hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel this is the lamia day if you're new you're welcome i create content based on faith on relationship and lifestyle so if you find yourself loving my content please take no time in subscribing thank you and yes if you've been here before my loyal gang awesome loyal gang loyal gang i know you're blushing right now anyways thank you so much for coming back by title you know what we're talking about today we're actually talking about spiritual peer pressure social peer pressure and i'll, I'll try as much as possible to use my experiences to you know help you relate with what i'm saying hopefully you get what i'm saying yeah so let's jump right into it okay guys so i i need to be pretty chilled in this video so that you know i can really really express myself as much as i would or as i should anyways um i saw stuff on instagram and on twitter and even on whatsapp status on people talking about comparison and peer pressure spiritual pressure um social pressure and all of those you know i don't know bad stuff sha and you know it now showed me the fact that you know sometimes on instagram <laughs> or maybe on whatsapp status you see a girl that maybe her heart is broken and you start seeing um all men are scum or kinikon are this all of that or you see so maybe when you when a girl's heart is broken you will know you will know just go and check her status you will know because you start to see stuff like um um you know if you don't love yourself no man will love you. If you don't love yourself, ah, uh, you can never love yourself enough for him. And I'm like, oh, what's the use? Do you get what I'm saying? But mm, I get it. But yeah, so sometimes people put the things that they've been through in a way, according to psychology or something, like people put the things that they've been through out in a different way so that you don't actually know that they actually go through it. Do you get? So I said that, okay, why don't I film something like this? on my youtube channel actually even before i saw it i was like okay i was going to film something on comparison because i filmed on comparison oh no i filmed on speech relationship comparison before anyways i'm already talking too much let's dive right into it i don't know if in any way you have felt pressured in the sense that you know god has been using your friends or people around you supernaturally like so recklessly like, like god what am i doing i'm also here why can't you use me recklessly or in church or in service or anything somebody they are picking the other person over you all the time in that sense and they are just pressured they are just before you know that pressure starts to turn to comparison before you know that comparison starts to turn to jealousy before you know that jealousy starts to breed hate or you just it just makes your heart ache in the way hello i've been treated I have been through it several times like when someone is being chosen over me all the time not even over me all the time like the person is being more recognized in everything actually spiritually maybe in church or even online or anything maybe person just keeps writing deep stuff on their you know instagram feed or on their whatsapp and everything and i'm like ah me and do you get what i'm saying people now recognize the person more often i mean because the person is doing that you also started doing your own on instagram and nobody starts or nobody responds or say anything per se to what you're saying do you get so um this has happened to me several times i have seen people move forward in my front spiritually like in their ministry like people already know them people already see that okay ah this babe this guy ah ah do you get what i'm saying look at what it carries and nobody really recognizes what i carry so many things like that but there's something that i want you to know that the moment you start getting yourself pressured spiritually before you know you start comparing yourself if i'm if i'm if you can relate to what i'm saying please let me know in the comment section you start um, comparing yourself to the other person before you know you start getting jealous of this other person and before you know it starts to breed at like make your heart ache do you get what i'm saying or gives you heartbreaks do you get what i'm saying like when you just see the person do anything you're just like or you just start to find fault this has happened to me several times and i want to let you know that this thing is not a matter of um i'm a born again i'm a born again i cannot be going through things like this i went through it and the truth is that i realized that it's a battle between your flesh and your spirit or a battle between my flesh and my spirit and i needed to take hold on it spiritually like i needed to work on it spiritually like i really needed to talk to the holy spirit about it because it wasn't good for me and let me tell you why i knew that it wasn't good for me because it cost me so much it cost me a lot it cost me the fact that i could not recognize when the holy spirit was talking to me do you get what i'm saying because i was busy looking at other people 
Do you get? So that's one of the things jealousy can cause your comparison. Before you know, you are blind to everything that the Holy Spirit is pointing your eyes to, or your mind to, or your ears to. Do you get? You can't just hear, you can't just receive, and you cannot just see. Do you get what I'm saying? That is one of the things that has that it has cost me before. Do you get? Another thing it cost me is that it made me too proud of myself. Like it gave me so much pride. You know, God of God says God gives grace to the humble and it resists the proud like that was exactly what happened to me like i was i felt like ah, ah, i was more deserving of what this person was you know was being handed to or something like i was more deserving of what this person was told to do do you get what i'm saying or this person was told to handle like i was more deserving of it and all of those bad stuff it made me proud it made me feel like i was not deserving of whatever any other person beside me was told to handle which was a very bad attitude and i knew that only the holy spirit could help me break it only the holy spirit could help me at that time and teach me what to do at part time do you get what i'm saying like i started to feel like oh like why would this person uh -uh, is this person better than me do you get what i'm saying and that is what pressure can do to you pressure can help you like make you compare yourself especially when you feel like uh -uh, uh -uh. you know the first time when they put the person there you're not like bothered or anything before you know it's in, the person is there the second time there again like me in Costa, me in comma am i not supposed to be there with you and all of that but before i knew it started leading to comparison that uh, in what way is she better than me in what way is he better than me before i knew i started getting jealous before I knew, whatever the person is doing i'm not even interested hello i know you're wondering ah lambda you're such a bad person i said you want to lie you can't tell me that you've never felt you've never compared yourself with anybody you can't tell me that you've never felt jealous before or you've not feel you've not found fault in people because you're just jealous of them do you get because the truth is that if you actually think about it very well you only find fault in good people when you are jealous you can't you can't see anybody find fault in good people if I look at Pastor Shegor Baji, I cannot find fault. But do you know that some people will find fault in him? We find fault in him. Do you get what I'm saying? I can't look at all of the solutions and not find fault in her. Let's take all of the solutions for example. I've seen people that have found fault in all of the solutions. Legit found fault in all of the solutions. Now, now, when I say people, apart from online, I know particularly one person that found fault in every of her videos and like, oh, why is she sharing this? Why is she saying this? She wants us to know that can he come, can he come, blah, 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 and everything. And I'm like, ah, in a good person. Ah, Holy Spirit, oh, you cold touch, heart here. Do you get what I'm saying? So, um, you legit find fault in, in good people, especially when you are jealous of them. What the Holy Spirit now started to teach me was that I needed to have a relationship with the Holy Spirit by myself, on my own, and not like, if not, I will get blinded by what is it tries to teach me. Do you hear what I'm saying? Because when you are jealous, you are blind to everything that the Holy Spirit is telling you. You are blind to, you can't see any other thing. You are too full of yourself. And the Bible says it resists the proud and it, what, it embraces the humble. Do you get, or it gives grace to the humble. So there are times that you need to be humble to get what you have to get part time. About comparison, you need to understand that this life is a journey and we are all going on different journeys. Like you can never be on the same path. Even if we are on the same path, there's no how you will. We are coming to our house. Like no matter what, if we are, you are, everybody has their houses in this world. Even if you are in the same compound, in a way, you will still enter your own house. This person will enter their own houses. Do you get what I'm saying? So sometimes you need to recognize, like there's no how. You can be all that God has called you to be without knowing the Holy Spirit or without knowing God himself. Like what the Holy Spirit has started to teach me was the fact that I needed to know him by myself. Because the truth is that it is only God that lifts a man. So the fact that I was pressured by other people, God lifting other people, God lifting people, other people around me and I felt stagnant. Was the fact that I was blinded to the goodness of God. Because looking at it truthfully, if you look at yourself between yesterday and and today or last year and this year you actually see the difference that mm, no i'm not the same person today i'm not the same person of yesterday do you get what i'm saying you're not the same like with yesterday in that sense so um it started teaching me to be grateful do you get for where i am because sometimes eh, you cannot if you try to lift yourself yourself you would fall if you try to lift yourself yourself you would fall to lot of solutions eh, she's on a on a journey of purpose like so if you compare yourself to the that is on a journey that has found a purpose 
you will just faint if you are there getting jealous if you are there comparing yourself if you are there just hating on her what's the use like when you can actually take you remember i said that by the time you like you compare yourself with another person like you get blinded by what god is showing you and you cannot even see the good things he has done in your life or you start getting full of yourself so you're not able to catch all that god is saying to you at that moment do you get by the time you are you do, you're not able to catch it now there are so many things i know today because of the lot of solutions there are so many things i know today because of that youtube channel there are so many things i know today because of and i'll still get to those people do you get because oh my god i'm feeling hot so i cannot sit a lot of solutions for my father and be jealous of her i'll start finding faults in her videos when you know god has sent her to me to touch my life or to bless my life or to add stuffs that i need to know into my life do you get what i'm saying our life is a journey and everybody's purpose is different the best things you can do for yourself is to actually go and pray to god or get to know god personally so that you can reveal your purpose to him do you get but so many of us wants to we all want to be in, in, in the limelight like be there let everybody see me let me be there and everything and not really have a relationship with christ the truth is that some of these people that we are seeing today they have paid their dues they, they are still serving god but they have paid their dues god has said hey this is the time oh yeah out do you get what i'm saying in their place of and i remember how she used to say something that she really took her time to pray when she was in abuja she really took her time to know god the most settle her future settle everything and all of those good stuff not knowing that okay she will get married in such a beautiful way and be who she is today do you get me so it actually taught me one lesson that the best thing you can do for yourself in this life is actually to know God for yourself. Because the truth is that you are seeing other people's results, but you don't know the sacrifices they have made to get those results. Do you get? They've made sacrifices to get those, those results, but those results are attractive. They are looking glamorous, but we are, not, are we ready to actually go through those sacrifices to get those results? If you look at it now, the truth is that Tolot Quest Solutions life eh, is looking so glamorous like so glamorous that everybody wants to ah no 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 these are my life should be these are my life should be but let me tell you the truth like the bitter truth i don't know if it's going is bitter or whatsoever but the bitter truth is this that your life cannot be exactly like a life the lot of solution is to lot of solutions i am olamide i'm olamide this is bimbo this is bimbo do you get what i'm saying our lives can be there can be similarities but there will always be a difference the what there will always be a difference do you get the best is to just pass through the path that god is leading you so that you can catch what he wants you to catch because if you are comparing yourself to another person you are looking at another person by at the end of the day you are just stagnant there why because you're still looking at one point instead of you to be concentrating on what god is showing you now let me make for example do you know how many people on youtube have you know have brought their husband to their youtube channel and their youtube channel did not blow i quote like how many women or men have brought their partner to their youtube channel and their youtube channel did not blow if god is not is not the one taking you there if it says that is not your part but you say okay okay because so that the lot of solution is like this this is how you must be you will fall you will fall it is god that lifts the head of a man do you get what i'm saying so the best part is to be is to be obedient to what god is saying but most of us are just looking at the glamorous results of these days the people that god is using to raise us spiritually we are looking at their results and we don't even want to pay the price that they have paid do you get or we don't want to recognize that there is purpose for everybody we all have a a similar purpose which is obviously a command to preach the gospel to the hands of the world or to the hands do you get to the hands of this world but we don't want to look at it that okay god has sent me to do this now let me say for example ddk remember is ddk not married does he cannot have children but who is ddk ddk is a coach she's a general she's a force ah see the amazing is short to say <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? DDK is a force. DDK is a general. DDK is a... She's fire. She's a coach. But you can see the clear difference between DDK and Tolot Best Solutions. That's recognition of purpose. Tolot Best Solutions not say, okay, because of this DDK is like this, the coach, I should be a coach too. Or because of DDK is doing this, I should do this. Tolot Best Solutions has a 9 to 5. 
The person who chose a YouTuber. She's a content creator to the core. She's an influencer. Who is DDK? DDK is a coach. DDK is so much many things. You can, but you can see the difference. The ability to recognize your purpose. And please, are both of them not doing well? They are doing exceedingly well. I don't know. I just want us to, you know, draw. I know I'm saying this passionately. I just want you to draw something from this. And that's what the Holy Spirit has been teaching me. The ability to recognize purpose, the ability to identify your purpose in God, and you don't, you don't, you don't look at other people's results and compare yourself to them and say, okay, this is exactly how I want to be. Do you get? So you cannot be comparing yourself to those people because God has put those people there to bring out the purpose that He has put in you into light. Do you get? Those people are there to coach and to mentor us to be all that God has called us. He didn't say we should be exactly. like He didn't say ah. DDK is a coach. Go and be a coach. Tolu is a coach. Go and be a coach. You can see the different purpose or the different fire they carry. The same fire but different. It is lit in different ways. Or in a different way. Do you get what I'm saying? She's a coach. She's a YouTuber. She's a... Do you get what I'm saying? Two different people. But what? They are, they are passing on this, almost the same messages. But, even if they are not passing the same messages, at the end of the day, what's in two of them? God. It's still God. It's still God. It's still God. Do you get what I'm saying? So, the best thing... Now, the, you see that the all-round of this thing is actually to understand your purpose. And how can you even understand your purpose? By knowing the Holy Spirit yourself. Yourself. Because if they don't know the Holy Spirit themselves, they will not come out and pour the things they are pouring into our lives. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. They paid the price. You see the fire they carry, you see the force that, you see how, you see the fire they carry, right? You see the fire they carry. Now, let me give you an example that is close to home. Um, let me go home. Um, pastor, there's one pastor in my church, Pastor Laulu Olua Dari. Pastor Laulu serves in GLT. He's a pastor in GLT, like a legit good pastor in GLT. And he's Pastor Shegon Baje's spiritual um, son. Pastor Laolu has not for once says, okay, he wants to stand, he wants to take Pastor Shegun's place. Do you know now? He wants to be, how can I explain it? He honors, he humbles. Like, I've never seen Pastor Laolu fight for front seats. Ah, this is where I want to sit down. This is where the set man representative should sit down. Do you get what I'm saying? Because I'm this this is where I, do you get what I'm, he does whatever he needs to do part time because he recognizes he didn't say okay one day let me just go and open my church when God has not told him to open a church yet. I know that if past, if God tells Pastor Laulu to open a church, he will definitely obey God. But he knows that right now God is saying to serve here. God is saying to serve GLT. God is saying to follow GLT right now. Do you get what I'm saying? Now I'm driving into for people that know him, and he's there. And to God who made me, I have seen how God has honored Pastor Laolu. I know. I have seen how God has honored Pastor Laolu Oluwadari. Do you get what I'm saying? So what I'm just, I'm just trying to make it so clear that the truth is that we are all going to produce results. But you must learn to understand that our journey is different. It might take a longer time from this person. But the truth is that God, God usually uses the storm to make you, to make us understand how good he is. Do you get if you don't fall sick, how do you know that God is a is a healer? If you don't go broke, how do you know that God provides money? Do you get what I'm saying? Sometimes you go through storms so that you can trust God. You go through some things so that you can trust God. You are you are where you are sometimes so that you can learn to understand God more in your waiting in your waiting season. Do you get me? What is God leading you to be? What is God leading you to do right now? What, what are you doing about what God is asking you to do right now? Do you get? So you cannot see what other people have worked for and start coveting it. It's not fair. Do you get? That was what the Holy Spirit taught me. I can't see what this other person has worked for and start coveting it. Okay, I'm in a church this thing. Now, in my church, they use head of ministry, assistant head of ministry, something, something like that to, you know, show that you are the head of the ministry and everything. And me, maybe I don't come for Bible studies or I don't come for Sunday service as often, but I just come once in a while or maybe when they're having spe special meetings. And I just said that, okay, they made um Victoria the head of ministry. Okay, they made her the HOM, the head of ministry. And I'm I'm jealous. I'm coveting it. 
someone that comes every time someone that serves like with all her heart someone that does what she's supposed to do part-time and i'm converting it it doesn't just make sense do you get god is faithful to everyone who is faithful to the to his works do you get what i'm saying so you have to learn to understand seasons you have to learn to understand times you have to learn what god is saying part time you have to learn what god is asking you to do part time so that you know you can enter into the fullness of all that god has called you to be do you get what i'm saying look at pastor funke felix adejumo or oh, i said pastor reverend funke felix adejumo look at her she's a marriage marriage relationship we men we men like she carries so much for women do you get and her husband is weird or carrying the ministry well too you see that there are, there are different purposes we all have different purposes it's just that we are all carrying it all in the same way in god so you can't see someone today and say ah no it's you it's like this go 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 if god is not leading you to a place you would fall you would fall okay so the best thing is actually to know the holy spirit for ourselves like let's do, let's just get to know the holy spirit for ourselves don't be forming pay um you already know god don't be forming spiritual macho that ah i'm already mature like i'm this i'm should be here not this person why should it be love so you what about me calm down see that god created they are forming macho what do you know <laughs> he knows you before like you even knew anything about yourself do you get what i'm saying so be patient with God. Allow God to use you in whatever ways He can use you. If it's that, it, it, it is where you are right now. You need to humble yourself where you are. Humble yourself where you are. That's what God has been teaching me. Humility. Humility. Because it is with humility you can... There's always... With humility, there's always transference of grace. Kosini. You have to recognize why you need to be humble sometimes. And the truth is that some people are just humble for no reason. Like unnecessary do you know i'm not saying that you are, you should not become a footman or something look at um neyman like neyman was humble enough to listen to take from the housemaid but he was not humble enough to listen to elisha so don't be be sensitive to the holy spirit so that you can know when to be humble so that you can collect what you ought to catch or catch what you ought to catch do you get what i'm saying i don't already talk it so much anyways i've not talked on social pressure i don't know if i should make that in video on its own or because this video is super long like super super long so take your time to know the holy spirit that is what god is, has been teaching me i just felt like okay let me not be selfish let me come and share all god has been teaching me to be in this video so that maybe other people can also learn from me and you know i can also learn from you guys so you guys can be able to relate and you know just to make someone know how that that you are not alone in this I've compared myself before i've been jealous before and so much and it has cost me so much but thank god for the holy spirit thank god for restoration thank god for how the holy spirit is leading me and what he has taught me like and where he's taking me